I think we live in the era of live service games now where no matter what game comes out in the future, the idea is the buried entry is going to be real low, damn near a free game to play. You just hop on Battle.net or Steam and download your game and in order to support it, you're buying cosmetics. And honestly, I'm not opposed to that. I actually kind of like the live service game model. I just don't like it when it takes advantage and nickels and dimes its community. I think it's it's kind of the, the way that the future is headed, especially if you look at something like Fortnite. I think Fortnite is the king of live service bundles, but we're not talking about Fortnite and their and their live service model. We're talking about Call of Duty and how they're introducing something into their live service model, into their cosmetic shop, if you would, that I don't know how I completely feel about. So you'll have noticed most as of most recently within the dune bundle if you bought the two main people the paul atreides and the the fredra guy the other guy the ball guy who was played by austin butler uh if you buy both of those bundles in the cod shop you get like a third secret or third extra bundle for it so it's like hey buy this full set when you buy the full set we're giving you an extra thing for you know purchasing the full set and when you word it like that it's like okay that, that makes sense but like now we're getting the food ones, like you buy instant noodles and this Wagyu beef and you're getting a, a like a new operator skin because of it. I, I To be honest, I don't know how I, I, I completely feel about this and this change that we're seeing in these games. I know most recently we're, we're seeing, and I just don't know how I feel about this trend. This trend is a really slippery slope, I feel like, because right now it's not terribly malicious, right? You you. you you support a bundle, let's say the Warhammer 40k bundle, which is going on right now, and, and they're giving out like an event pass that comes along with it. And I love these event pass that are free, right? So you have to find ways to monetize other things around the game so that you can provide these cool little internal events that give us free cosmetics and free blueprints. And like, we get to go a stun, gra stun grenade blueprint in this Warhammer 40k model, or in this in this event battle pass, excuse me. And I, I'm here for it. I like it. I think this is a cool thing. But when it goes to the COD shop and now we're buying multiple bundles to get one operator skin, that just opens the door for, I don't know, I just think it's a slippery slope for, for ultimately the community to get taken advantage of. I personally would rather see something along the lines of this coming from like subscribing to like a, uh, we're going to go back to Fortnite, but like the Fortnite crew has like a $4.99 and I think like a $9.99 thing where you can pay each month. You can pay $4.99 or $9.99. It gives you some points to cost and like some extra cosmetics. I would rather go that route than this route. But I want to know what you guys think about this. That's just, I just wanted to bring this up to you guys real quick. Uh, just a little video to you guys. I appreciate everybody who's subscribing to this new channel. Yeah, bye. Bye, 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 bye.